Hey y'all, today we're doing a healthy treat. Today we're making a peach cobbler smoothie. And what you're gonna need are some sliced peaches and that could be frozen or fresh. You're gonna need some caramel sugar-free syrup and that is optional. I have some vanilla protein powder, some brown sugar Splenda or whatever kind of sweetener you like. I'm using the pumpkin pie spice because it has the cinnamon and the nutmeg in it. I have a small one serving knit uh, bullet. And oh, I also forgot you're gonna also need some almond milk or coconut milk. Next y'all, you're gonna take your frozen peaches and you're gonna pour them in your uh, bullet. Then you're gonna take one scoop of your vanilla protein powder. And y'all, this only has like one carb in it and zero sugar. Then you wanna take a half a teaspoon of your pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon or nutmeg. Then you wanna add a tablespoon of whatever sweetener you have and I just happen to have the brown sugar Splenda. Then you wanna add in your almond milk or coconut milk or whatever milk you have. But don't forget, this is a healthy smoothie, so let's just try to keep it healthy. Now we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna mix it. Now next you're gonna take your caramel and you just wanna drizzle it inside of your glass. Just make a pretty little design. It doesn't have to be perfect or you don't even have to use it at all. It's optional. I don't know, for some reason, it just seemed like it just make it taste better to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now we're gonna add that cold smoothie inside of our glass, that peach cobbler smoothie, y'all. Mm, it's just so good. It just tastes like you're, you're drinking a peach cobbler. You need to give this one a try. You won't be disappointed at all, I promise you. And now, y'all, we're gonna add some Cool Whip on the top. And you can also use, they have the almond uh, whipped cream, you can use that. And whipped cream only has like one gram of sugar in it. And we're gonna sprinkle some of the pumpkin pie spice on the top, or you can sprinkle some cinnamon. And you're gonna chop up some peaches. And y'all, this was fire. It was so good, it tastes just like a peach cobbler. So y'all, please give this a try and enjoy.